We begin tying the iris cat is simply by tying on a length section of zelon, if you will, for the shuck. Again, this is gold dyed zelon. That forms the shuck, pupil shuck of the emerging caddis. Next, we're going to take our zelon blend. This is amber iris zelon. It's a blend of zelon and rabbit fur. And you don't want to dub a very tight body. You want it to be fairly shaggy, spiky. If you will, it reflects light nicely and gives the appearance of a emerging caddis trying to escape its pupil shuck. Now at this point, notice all these fibers resist any and all temptation to trim. Let those trail freely because, again, they're going to reflect light and imitate the emerging caddis. Now we're going to take a length of uh, straight white zelon and make a bubble, if you will. Just fold it and make a bubble, and that's going to be tied onto the top of the hook shank, enveloping the body of the uh, this caddis pattern. Simply measure it. You want it to extend to the base of the shuck. Pinch it, make a couple of loose wraps, and then tighten down. That's going to form your emerging wings and also the gaseous bubble that caddis buoy themselves up to the surface with. Now pull this out of your way and leave it untrimmed right now because what you can do here is dub a very rough dubbed thorax, again of a blend of zelon and hair's mask. And what I like to do with these wing butts, I'll make a couple wraps behind and now I'll pull up on the wing make a couple wraps in front of carry this forward to the hook eye and now whip finish finally just pull up on the wing wing butts and trim that forms a little post a little waking post if you will it adds invisibility you'll accept a little bit more fly float and it really greatly floats this fly pattern a lot easier. Again, the finished amber iris caddis.